41 years after John Lennon walked out onto his New York apartment balcony and witnessed a UFO, a drawing of the event made by the late Beatle is again creating controversy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I've seen a flying saucer. That's what John Lennon said on the night of August 23, 1974, to his former girlfriend and assistant, May Pang, as they stood naked on the balcony looking at what May Pang later described this way colon. A flattened cone and on top was a large, brilliant red light, not pulsating. We could make out a row or circle of white lights that ran around the entire rim of the craft, these were also flashing on and off. There were so many of these lights that it was dazzling to the mind. Both of them said they took photographs of the UFO but none developed. That's when Lennon made at least one drawing of what they saw. It became part of the album Sleeve for Walls and Bridges, was given to a friend and eventually sold at an auction in 2014. UFO investigator Russ Kellett claims Lennon made four UFO sketches and he recently purchased one from a private collector. In an odd coincidence, Kellett is known for investigating the 1974 Berwyn Mountains UFO crash, which some call the Welsh Roswell. That occurred near Ruthen where Lennon's first wife Cynthia once lived. Kellett won't say how much he paid for the drawing, but he believes it's real since he's both a UFO and Beatles memorabilia collector. On the other hand, May Pang says it's a fake and here's why, seriously? This is not anything close to his drawing style. He never drew another one of the UFO sketch when he was with me. I have that one. He definitely would not draw one when he was living with Yoko and me in the pic. Is May Pang right? Does Kellett have a real Lennon drawing or a fake? Did Lennon really see a UFO? Did he memorialize it in the song Nobody Told Emmy Single Quote? There's a UFO over New York and I ain't too surprised.